Breaking news this midday affecting every public school in Kansas. The current school funding system is ruled unconstitutional. We have live team coverage now about what this means for your kids. This involves multiple districts, including KCK. The 80 page document gives the state until the end of June to find an equal way to distribute that money. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live in KCK, where he just talked with district leaders. And Andres, what are they telling you? Yeah, Cynthia, a representative with the school district says that the today's ruling is a step in the right direction, but the Kansas legislator needs to act quick in order these, for the students here to receive a proper education. Take a listen. Our students really depend on us. To, to give them the best, we need the access to the very best teachers. And to, to recruit teachers, to retain teachers, you have to pay them well. Pay them in a way that's equitable with other school districts. If we don't have the same resources, then we're going to be challenged to give our teachers the same thing they can get by going to neighboring school districts. That's a huge difference. If our, if our kids don't have access to the best, then their life chances are diminished. Now, last May, the superintendent, uh, Cynthia Lane, did explain to the three-panel judge that the block grant system, which has been ruled now unconstitutional, would have caused the district to lose more than $2 million in funding. That money would have gone for maintenance and other district programs like teacher retention and recruitment. Now, this district, as well as three others, will now have to wait to see what the lawmakers out in Topeka do. They do have until June 30th to make a decision. Reporting live this morning in KCK, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.